This video will demonstrate some of the basic steps to installing and using an Evenflow Tribute 5 car seat with a rear-facing infant. Before you start, you must read the owner's manuals for your car seat and your vehicle. This video clip only illustrates some of the steps to a correct installation. Before using your Tribute 5, you must read the installation section of your car seat owner's manual beginning on page 16. Before you go to your car, you must make sure that the shoulder belts are at the correct height for your child. The shoulder straps must be in the closest position at or below your child's shoulders. If you need to adjust the shoulder belt height, remove the straps from the plate on the back and re-thread them through the proper set of slots. Once your car seat is adjusted to your child, you must decide where your child will travel. Never place a child in the front seat with an active airbag. Your child is safest when placed in the back seat. After choosing where your child will sit, the next step to installing any car seat is to understand what type of belt system your vehicle has. Your vehicle owner's manual may offer guidance. There are three basic types. A manual seat belt, usually found in the center position in a rear seat, an automatic locking retractor, and an emergency locking retractor. Locking retractors are always pulling the belt tight. Emergency locking retractors allow the belt to be pulled out unless you hit the brakes hard. Many newer vehicles have retractors that can switch between emergency and automatic locking modes. There is usually a label on the belt near the floor. If you are not sure, you can check by pulling about two feet of the shoulder belt out, then releasing it so that about six inches returns. Now try to pull it back out. If it will not come out of the retractor, you have an automatic locking retractor. If you have an emergency locking retractor, or if your belt buckle slides freely along the belt, you will need to use a locking clip. Please review your owner's manuals and our separate locking clip video for more information. Adjust the recline stand so that it is at the front of the car seat. Place the Tribute 5 on the vehicle seat where you want your baby to travel. If the Tribute 5 is pitched up at a sharp angle, you may need to place a tightly rolled towel under the bottom to make it more level. Lift the pad from the front of the Tribute so you can see both openings on the sides. Now take the seat belt and pass it through the opening on the side of the seat. Pass the belt across the seating surface and out the other opening. With your other hand, grab the latch plate and attach it to the vehicle buckle. Place your hand or knee in the bottom of the seat and push down. Now take up all the slack in the lap belt, then release the car seat. Check your work by trying to shift the seat from side to side. If it moves more than one inch at the lap belt, you need to repeat the last step. Once you have a tight fit, replace the seat pad. Gently settle your baby into the seat and slip his or her arms through the straps. Clip both buckle tongues into the buckle. Pull up to make sure that they are latched correctly. You need to adjust the straps on the seat to make them snug for the baby. The harness adjuster strap is between your child's feet. Pull up on the free end until the shoulder straps are snug. You should be able to insert no more than two fingers between the shoulder straps and your baby. Lastly, snap the chest clip together and slide it up the shoulder harness until it is at the baby's armpit level. This video is not intended to replace your car seat and vehicle owner's manuals. Always read and follow your owner's manuals. Thank you for choosing Evenflow. Buckle up and safe travels.